no, you were GQ, one of GQ's, you know, hottest men of the year. Okay. Okay. We have look. There it is. What is there it is. Oh, this is Portuguese here. magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. So, what's it like to bring, you know, the sex symbol to Jesus, and how does that make you feel? No, I don't bring. I didn't. I didn't bring anything. <laughs> you know, I was just like well, I, I people was. People were saying it though. People, well, what people are saying is one thing. Uh, My intention was, uh, I know the thing. I mean, let me tell you this. A lot of the, the most important scenes that I shot in, in, in the Bible and the Son of God, I don't have a memory, a, vi a visual memory of that. So that, that, that can tell you how, how emerged and how fully I was in the moment, or not in the moment. So, you know, it, whatever you can interpret. Yeah, you so, also, it's almost an outer body experience in a way. You give was, yourself over to was, the work. It was mm -hmm. a personal, emotional, spiritual journey for me. So. I never see that this coming, you know. Obviously, I take it as a compliment. There's no, no, nobody that can say hot cheeses would be not seeing the show. So it's, it's, it's because of the success and, and, and how it reached out to everyone that is like of a social uh, manifestation of love. Yeah. Well, Roma and Mark, how has this journey changed you two as well? I think that it has certainly deepened our, our marriage and mm -hmm. our friendship. And in many ways, it's deepened our faith as well, you know, to be working on, on scripture, to be working on the scripts, to be, to be bringing, to be the, the responsible parties for bringing this story of love to the world, you know, because it really is the greatest love story. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, he loved us so much, right? He came and he died for us that we might love. And, and so it's been an extraordinary privilege for us. Well, Mark, how much of the movie was actually biblically based and accurate, and how much was Hollywood? No, spin? no, it's all accurate. Mm -hmm. We worked with over 40 scholars uh, wow. Bishop T.D. Jake, Sam Rodriguez, Rick Warren, Cardinal Worrell, so across Catholic and Protestant, Baptist, um, to get it right. The movie um, is scripturally very accurate, and it's a very tense political thriller as well. It's really true to the times. Mm -hmm. This is not some donkeys and sandals <laughs> by way, where everybody stepped out of a dry cleaners. This is like a really tense political thriller. Mm. But in the middle of it is this love story, as Diogo said. It really is a great movie. Wow. Is that why you think it's resonated with audiences? Because it gives you both the historical perspective, mm -hmm. but a real genuine love story and a thriller. Yeah, it had to be very 2014. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't be going back 30 years and doing it that way. This is, young kids are used to Harry Potter. They're used to Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. They're expecting big special effects. We had Hans Zimmer do the score. Really? Same go, did Batman, oh, yes. Superman, yeah. Gladiator. Yeah. And the special effects team from Gladiator did the special effects. This is a big movie. It is, and the end credits roll with CeeLo Green yeah. singing, Mary Did You Know. Mm -hmm. And you know, I stayed a, in the theater until the song was yeah. over, because uh, it was just so captivating and after that. And his voice is extraordinary on that track. Yeah. Did you love the movie? I did, I, I will say I did love it. And you know, I had some hesitations, because a lot of people think it's too emotional, it's too hard, and un it's uncomfortable at some point. So a lot of people may say they don't want to go see it for that. What do you say to that? What is your reaction? Well, it's like, give us your, you were there. What did you think? Yeah. Well, I thought it was actually less brutal than the last version uh, 10 years ago that was yeah. released, Passion yeah, of actually. the Christ. Yeah, yeah. Why did you choose to make it less gruesome, like we the beating and the whipping scenes? Because we wanted a PG-13 break. Mm -hmm. This comes out Friday, and we want families to go see this. Mm -hmm. You know, let me tell you about a story last week in England, BBC. Okay. They showed that only... Uh, Three out of ten British kids didn't know that the story of Jesus was in the Bible. Wow. Now think about that. Three out of ten British kids didn't know that. It's probably the same in America because of the lack of biblical education. This movie can really provide a value as well as entertainment. Mm. What do you, how do you feel about church and school mixing? I think it's people great. People talked I, about bringing the Bible back into school. You I need God in the classroom. Some people are adamantly opposed to that notion. What do you all think? I, I feel for sure the Bible should be taught in public schools because they teach Shakespeare. You have to learn Shakespeare. Mm. That was based on the Bible. Imagine how nutty it is for a kid to become 25, go overseas on business, and someone says, that kind of reminds me of David and Goliath. And the kid's like, huh? Oh, wow. What's that? That's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We were at an event recently, and somebody asked us if Joan of Arc was Noah's wife. <laughs> wow. That's true. I was they, that wasn't serious. Yes. No, no they weren't being facetious. Oh, God, yeah. that's embarrassing. Yeah. We can see how someone could confuse that. It's, this is it's an epic, big movie for everybody, uh -huh. but it's also got a major value. Yeah. 50 years since this happened. Uh -huh. 
Mm. And Diogo Morgado, I have to tell you, I don't think you're ever going to see someone ever portray Jesus like Diogo Morgado. Well, let me ask you about that because when you were filming these scenes, especially the beating and the crucifixion mm -hmm. scene, I mean, it was so real, it was so emotional. What did you do to tap into that character to make it come across so believable? It was really important for us to bring this human side of Jesus as well. You know, we, we, we all know that Jesus was the son of God, but he came to this world as a human, as a man. So obviously, you know, along the way, it had to be something, you know, that resembles to what we, we, we struggle and we feel every day. So we, we tend, we, we, we went to this perspective of not, of Jesus that not knows all, doesn't know what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. So until it's actually happening, so it's like God is whispering to his ear, you know, this is it, son, it's going to happen this and this and this. And so that way the audience will almost like feel at the same time as mm -hmm. Jesus is re receiving. It's, it, it brings the Jesus closer to the audience, which I think it's, it's good. From that point of view and answering to your question, the beating and, and the crucifixion and all, it had to be, you know, it, it, it's, it's a physical sacrifice for all of us. So we had to feel that visually and emotional. So it, it, it was that. It was like, you know, it, there's no judgment in trying to filter or whatever it was. It was, it, it was the most real perspective that we could. It was a challenging a few days for all of us mm -hmm. up yeah. there. Yeah, what I was think it was the, set? It was the, the most emotional scene, of course, in the film. And we knew from the beginning of the movie uh, that, that this was something that we wanted to portray accurately and to be able to bring that humanity to it. You know, I had an opportunity to step into playing the role of the mother of Jesus. And while we know Mary was the mother of the Son of God, she was also a mother. And I am a mother myself. So I could only begin to imagine what a mother would have felt like to, to watch her son being murdered in such a way. So to feel it with a mother's heart and see it with a mother's eyes. Wow, and you My did goodness. it so well. The movie is fantastic. We'll definitely Thank have you. to check it out. February 28th, mm -hmm. as well as this soundtrack is now available. Yes, right. Hans so did a great thing. score. And also in that soundtrack, it drops in between songs, G Diogo as Jesus' voice, giving you Jesus' messages within wow. the music. Of the Bible, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I think CeeLo Green's on there as well. Yep, he's in here too. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Shannon. <laughs> oh, <Sam. laughs> I tell you. Thank you all for being here. God so bless you all. Yes. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.